Just two teams were left battling it out in the Class 1A state title game. The three-seed Chipley Tigers and the top-ranked Lafayette Hornets. News 13's Kaylee Tinglestad tells us how the Tigers, they brought their bug spray to the championship game. Making an appearance to the state final game is nothing new to the Chipley Tigers, but winning in that final game is something they haven't been able to do in their last three trips. But it must be fourth times the charm for the Tigers as they can finally add a state championship trophy to the shelf. That's the sound of a baseball team winning their program's first ever state title, but there wasn't always light at the end of the tunnel for the Tigers. We've, we've clawed our way like out of a hole, kind of because like after that Freeport game, if you would have told me that like we were going to win state, I would have like laughed and like because we were looking kind of rough, so I'm glad we pulled through. Both teams hungry at the start, tied up 1-1 after the first, but it came down to who wanted it more. It felt amazing. And then seeing our guys all, everybody just keep it going and going and going. And we scored nine. We scored nine in one inning, and that's, that's, a, that's the biggest uh, rally I've ever seen with two outs. And to do it in this biggest game of the year, it's amazing. Biggest game of my life, so I, there's no words. In the Tigers' last four games before the state title, they scored seven runs. In the biggest game of the season, they scored nine and half an inning alone. So we really haven't had that happen all year, but I mean, everybody just kind of locked in. We didn't swing any pitches out of the strike zone, and we got we hit barrels that inning. We, you know, we got some really good hitters if you watch us, and they put it together that inning, and, and, and that was the difference. But it wasn't just the Tigers lineup. Starting pitcher Bryson Howard controlled the game with six strikeouts, keeping Lafayette, who averages over eight runs a game, to just a single run. He's our guy and we knew it. We knew he was going to do it and he did it and you know we couldn't be more proud of him. Pitching for all seven innings reaching the full pitch count with the leadoff batter and two outs on the board. It's just really incredible. It could have been a ground ball and I would have been out and somebody else would have been in. I think we still would have really did good because we're, our defense is that good. But like, I'm glad that I could. I'm glad I could end my senior year the way that I wanted to. And it was a no-fly zone in the outfield. Blaine Woodham making his bid for a Sports Center top ten play. He just goes over there. The guy's athletic, you know. And those plays he made. I mean, he just tracks them down. He's smooth, you know, and. and he can just get there, and when he gets there, he finishes. The Tigers reaching the point every team dreams about during the season. There's only going to be one team at the end of every year who's going to go home smiling. The Tigers and that state championship trophy will be headed back to Chipley tomorrow morning. Reporting in Fort Myers, Kaylee Tinglestad, News 13 Sports, Panhandle Strong. The Tigers wrap up their championship season on a 10-game win streak, 22-7 and overall. After 25 years of coaching the Tigers, Coach Compton with his first state title.